Okay, so we're gonna see about mounting the uh, air uh, helper spring here. So we're under. This is the uh, this is the driver's side spring pack. We have here our airlift 5,000 pound uh, air spring. We're gonna mount it up in here. I have well, back there. You can see just up there in the corner wooden block. I've got the jack jack the frame up to get a little bit more space between the axle and the frame here so we can try to fit this in. Alright. We do need to compress it a little bit. But it looks like it's gonna go actually in there easier than I thought it would. Yeah a couple uh, carriage bolts flat washers and uh, nylon lock nuts here. So we'll get those set. Well, what I need to do is get the flat washer on there first. It's extremely t tight up in there. I've got the shield here, the heat shield for the uh, exhaust, keep the exhaust heat away from the from the propane line. All right, we got that one started. Now let's see here. I might just get it from the outside. Get this bolt in. Washer in. Get the nut started. Okay. Okay, we got a shallow well socket here. Just hold up on the carriage bolt, hold it in the slot there. And that has a nylon insert in it, so it's locking. Well, it takes a little bit more force to get it tightened up. We'll just, I'm not going to tighten it up quite all the way yet. I want to get everything else. I want to get everything else. Hooked up and started. We'll get the bolts ready here. So I think these long ones from the corner directions go in the back. Just like that. Take a little persuasion and get them around the, the rubber and in. Kind of at an angle hitting the axle. Get this other one in. Well, that one goes in easier because it's on the offset. Just like that. 
This last one should go in easy because it's a short one as well. Just like that. All right. When you have these brackets, and you see one side is longer than the other, so the long side goes up here. Got an advantage here because I've got the shock out. I'm putting new shocks in and I'm waiting to put most of the stuff back together until I get the brake lines. The brake lines and the fuel lines done because otherwise it the exhaust and the drive shaft and the shocks and all that stuff are just it's just in the way and you can't get up inside the frame rail there first of all you know you can't get your head up you know this area you can't get up in here because you've got you know two uh, exhaust tubes and a drive shaft in the way well, this is a little tricky here so I want to start why doesn't it want to start I think we were bumping into the side of the bracket there. It was making the nut crooked. Alright, there's one. Get this one in here. Actually got all new brake lines here from the from the hose that goes to the center of the pumpkin back out to the side here. It's brand new 316 stainless steel line um, with a rock guard on it. So hopefully we won't have to worry about uh, the lines rusting out, which is what happened here. They were actually leaking. So we put uh, put an all new all new brake lines on it. Got it all apart. Do it the right way. Do it the right way now while I can. Make sure we're set to tighten. the extension here. Get it on. And get right up in there. Tighten up the back side the same way. Oh, 
always make sure your wrench is going the right way. Try to tighten these up evenly here. Okay, so that looks like that's it. What we do still have to do is install the airline. You see the fitting right there. We'll install the airline and bring it out to the side of the coach. There's a hole here where the airline for the old spring was but I'm going to wait and do that because I want to route it up and through the frame safely and over here and I want to drill holes um, to clamp uh, for bolts to clamp it uh, hold it up um, away from the exhaust and just so it doesn't hang down or get caught on anything so but there it is the airlift uh, suspension bolt in. It's pretty easy. Um, helps that we don't have an uh, exhaust pipe and, and all that other stuff in the way. But I think even if the exhaust pipe was in here, it still wouldn't be uh, uh, too bad of a job, really. So, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.